Hello guys, today is the second video of two video series reviewing PHP operators project by Spati, which is open source on GitHub. And yesterday we were talking about how this page is operating with Alpine JS. If you haven't watched that video, I will link that in the description below. And topic of today is how this project with PHP operators is operating without the database. So all the content is in markdown files like this. In the folder resources content, there are a lot of MD files and then they are parsed in the controller with two packages, Spati Sheets and Spati Laravel Data. So there's this Get Sheets and at the bottom we have Sheets All, which is powered by, if you look at Composer JSON, Spati Sheets. And then there's additional transformation with Spati Laravel Data, which we'll talk about in a few minutes. For now, let's focus on Sheets. And the title of this package is a bit misleading. It may be Google Sheets, you would think, or Excel Sheets. No. The purpose of that is to work with static content in plain text files, like for example, markdown, like in this case. So generally you have a markdown file, then you configure the sheet to read it with sheets get, for example, and then there are additional features that I will show in a minute. So when sheets all is actually called, there's config sheets file to define where those files are. Disk content corresponds to the name of disk in the config file systems. So there's local, public, and then there's content. So here we define that the resource path content will be full of markdown files, which would be read here in the sheets all. And those files would be returned as a collection of sheet objects. And later we would need to transform it with Laravel data into specific DTO data objects. But also in the configuration of the sheets, it doesn't only define the disk, but there are two parsers. And inside there's logic what should be the file structure and what should be inside of the file. Let's take a look. So the file operator's path parser is responsible for the name of each file. So there's dash and each part of the file name before and after the dash has some meaning. So category dash index dash slug, which corresponds to, for example, arithmetic 01 addition, arithmetic is the category, index is 01, and slug is addition. And then another parser is content parser. What is the logic inside of that file? What is the content? It's pretty complex logic. You can take a look at it on GitHub, but basically it returns code and contents, which should be visible here. So this markdown file is transformed into this HTML code later in Alpine.js. So inside of operators blade, there's this operator title, operator teaser, operator tags, operator contents, all of that comes from these keys. So teaser, as you can see, tags, title and so on. And now we get back to transforming that sheets objects into a separate data file called operator data. So operator data is inside of app data folder and it's a data object that works with extends data. So spotty Laravel data package. And these are the properties of that object. So slug title teaser and so on. So from the sheet object, which is passed as a parameter here, most of those fields are transformed as is, but for example, for related tags or related operators, rather, those are in markdown file, these ones, and on the page, here are the related below. So five related operators, they are all defined by slug. And to parse those slugs, there's a map operator with function, callback function, Again, you can take a look at the code on GitHub to understand it better, but basically every related variable should return title and slug. And yeah, as a result of that, from controller to blade view, we pass the array of operators, which are then transformed in the blade view. And we talked about it in a previous video about Alpine.js. They are here dollar operators transformed into JSON and then shown dynamically with Alpine JS. So yeah, this is the overview of how you could use something like markdown files, structure in some folder and then parse it in your controllers and blade view to avoid using the database at all. And then if you want to change something in some file or add something new, you work with markdown and then push it to GitHub. So you have the history of all the changes instead of using the database. And also it is technically faster. And for extra speed, they also use cache flexible. And if you haven't heard of cache flexible, I have a separate video 
on my Laravel daily channel, which is a pretty new feature in Laravel 11.23, and I will link that video in the description below. So yeah, what do you think about this combination of Spotty Sheets, then Spotty Laravel data to parse Markdown into usable structure in the blade? Or do you have other alternative packages or approaches for similar relatively static content? Let's discuss in the comments below. That's it for this time, and see you guys in other videos.